Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about junction tables. Now, I really hesitated whether this lesson should be in this section, put it at the end of the course in the advanced section. However, in my experience, most Airtable users get to a point where they can't really manage all the information that they want to without using junction tables. So that's why I've put it in this section. That being said, if you're a beginner in Airtable, or just generally not very familiar with managing multiple databases, this lesson might be a little more advanced than you're used to. That being said, don't worry about the vocabulary, focus on the functionality and what junction tables are good for, and the rest will come. So junction tables are used to add information about the intersection between two tables. Now, that may seem confusing, so let me just start with an example. So let's imagine I want to give a 50% discount to Wolf Motors specifically for this opportunity for one product. So this safety and security training, instead of being 15,000 for this deal only, I want to give them, let's say a 50% discount. So applying a discount to only one of the products in the linked record field is actually a challenge. So one way we could potentially solve this is by creating a discount percentage column, which I've done uh, between the two classes, and then multiplying that discount by the deal value, which is here. A problem with that is that it applies the discount to both products. It, it applies the, the only way we can do this is by applying it to the total deal value. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're really just trying to say, we only want to discount the safety and security training by 50%. And that's really where junction tables come in. So junction tables are useful when you want to add information of the intersection of two tables. So in this situation, I want to add information about the safety and security training product, but only for the Wolf RFI deal. So I'm going to create a junction table. Now I'm going to call this the products dash pipeline table. And that's how I usually denote junction tables. So here we're going to call this a key. Don't worry about why I call it a key for now. And the first thing we're going to do is create two linked records. And these two linked records in the first two columns are going to tell us what two tables is this junction table about. So we're going to create a, we're going to call this the product and we're going to call this linked record field. We are going to pull in information from the products field. That's great. And then let's instantly say, okay, well, the, the one I want to discount is the safety and security training. Now I don't want to discount them for all deals. The only deal I want to discount it for is the RFI deal, which is in the pipeline table. There we go. So we're going to look up or we're going to find Wolf. Oh, there we go. Wolf RFI. So now I have the, the right product and the right deal. And we're going to have a discount column, which is going to be a percent. There we go. Save. And here we wanted to say we want to give them a 50% discount. So just as a reminder, by creating these two linked records, we've actually added a field in the products table. This is our junction table right here. And then in the pipeline, we also have our products pipeline field right here. So I'm going to go in and create I'm going to pull in the price of the product we want to discount. So we're going to link. So this is going to be a lookup field type. We're going to look up the price. So that's in the product table and we want the price. There we go. So that gives us the price and we're going to give a discount amount, which is the multiplication of the discount and the price multiplied it by minus one. So this is going to be a formula. We're going to say discount times price field 
divided by 100 because that's just how percentages work in Airtable. And then we're gonna multiply by minus one to get the discount dollar amount. There we go. So our discount amount, let's actually format this a little better. It's gonna be currency. There we go. Okay, so the discount dollar amount is 7,500. So we've discounted the safety and security for Wolf RI by 7,500. So now let's pull that information back into our pipeline. So here on the right, let's have a discount amount and it's going to be a lookup field type and it's going to be coming from the junction table and we want the discount amount. We're gonna pull it in. So with that, we have the discount we want to apply to the safety and security training product in the Wolf RFI deal. So kind of looping back here, we have the safety and security, the deal, and the discount amount that we're pulling back in to our deal. And the reason, just as a reminder that we're doing this, is that we couldn't apply a discount that we have here at the deal level, we really wanna apply it to the product level. So we need a junction table to create a discount that is specific to one deal and one product. And so that's what I mean by using junction tables to add information about the intersection of two tables. So let's go ahead and delete these uh, the discount percentage and updated deal and then create a new one that is uh, actual deal value here, deal value discounted. It's going to be a formula that sums deal value plus discount amount. There we go. And that'll give us the updated value of each deal, including the discounts we want to apply for different products. So you notice that I still haven't named the first column of our junction table, and that's why we're seeing unnamed record here. Now it's sometimes a little difficult to name this first column because we're talking about aspects of the intersection of two tables. So what I usually do when I'm unsure or I don't have a better idea, I simply just concatenate the different linked records. So what I mean by that is I'll say product and deals. So this will tell me, well, this is a discount. Whoops. This is a discount for the safety and security in the Wolf RFI deal. And if I come here, it'll pull up that information as the call. So far, we've looked at what our junction table can do on the pipeline side. Now let's look at what it can do on the product side. So let's imagine we want to calculate the average discount for each product. To do that, we need to take the average of every discount we've given out for each product in the various deals. And we're going to do that with the rollup field because we're going to find the, the discounts and calculate the average. So here uh, we're gonna link to our junction table. We're gonna look at the discount in dollar amount, and then we want to take an average of values. So what this will do is that for each product, it's going to look in the product pipeline table and calculate the average of every discount we've given out for every deal. Because we've only given out one discount so far, it averages to that value, but let me do some little editing magic to add a few discounts. There we go. And if we go back into our products table, you notice that we now have an average discount for every single product. What we can quickly see is that the safety and security product is always heavily discounted, or at least in the cases where it is discounted, it seems like we're giving out a pretty hefty discount. All right, with that, we conclude our lesson on junction tables. So what we accomplished using junction tables was discount a specific product in a specific deal right here. And we've also used it to calculate the average discount we're given out for each of our products.
So junction tables are extremely useful, as we saw, when you want to add information about the intersection of two tables, in this case, products and pipeline. So that actually also concludes our section on working with multiple tables. In the next section, we're going to start touching uh, more advanced functionality, enabling us to link Airtable to the rest of the tools that we use every day. See you there.